Hi guys, this is Lucky from Wizard Tech. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating easy way to convert from GPT partition style into an MBR partition style during Windows installation without losing files or data. As you can see here, I cannot currently install Windows on disk volume here because it's of a GPT partition style. I'm only left with an option to delete the entire volume which will lead to data and file loss on the disk. Below, I have a message that Windows cannot currently be installed on disk disk because it's of a GPT partition style. And now without further ado, let's go ahead and start guys. Alright guys, so just before we start, let's look at the differences between these two partition styles. MBR partition style is booted by the BIOS, which means it can only be supported by a computer on a BIOS boot mode, while the GPT partition style is booted by UEFI boot mode, which means it can only be supported by a UEFI boot mode. Alright, so from this above explanation, if your computer is BIOS boot mode, but your system DIX is a GPT DIX, in this case, you cannot install Windows until you come convert from GPT style into an MBR style alright so there are two possible ways to do this conversion first is using a command prompt the command prompt will entirely recreate the disk into an MBR partition style but then you have to lose all your files under your data that you have on the disk now the second method is pretty much very preferable and its operation is much more simpler than the first method no data loss or no file loss and that is the method that I'll be showing you in this video now to do this you need three tools here now the first tool here is a USB to SATA adapter cable star subscriber and then finally a third party software called Ome Partition Wizard Ome is a powerful GPT to MBR conversion tool it helps to convert system disks from GPT to MBR without losing data right so to do this you need to close the current uh, Windows installation page and shut down the PC Then turn the back of the laptop and unmask the GPT disk which you want to convert into an MBR. Then you need to get another working PC. Here we'll be downloading the Ome Partition Wizard. On this laptop here, I'll open my browser and from here I'll type Ome Partition Assistant. When the option comes out, click on it to open it. Here, I'll click on the first search result. I'll also be leaving a link to this page in the description of this video. So I'll click on the first search result. And from here, I'll hold over to the download page. And from here, under the Ome Partition Assistant Professional, under the demo version, click on free download. After a moment, the download page will pop out all right so i've downloaded this now to avoid wasting much time on this video i already downloaded this Ome partition assistant on my system so i already installed it so let's go ahead and uh, open it up Alright guys, so as you can see, there are a whole lot of things you can do with this Ome Partition Assistant. So, but in this case, we'll be looking at the Convert MBR to GPT option, which is located above. Alright, so here I'll go ahead and connect the GPT disk, which I took out from the first laptop. Alright, as you can see here, the disk is currently on a GPT partition style. Alright, so what I need to do here is just to select the disk. Make sure that you have selected the right disk. So in my own case here, disk C is the main Windows disk which I have on this system. Y disk F is the GPT disk which I just connected to the laptop. So at this point, I'll select it and then I'll click on convert MBR forward slash GPT option. Then I'll click on OK. Then at this point i'll click on apply
then this option comes out then i'll click on proceed then finally click on yes to confirm all the selection as you can see the conversion is in progress all right guys so as you can see we have successfully converted it now i'll click on ok to close uh, this page as you can see here dix1 is no longer on gpt partition is now on mbr partition so we have successfully converted this dix from a gpt partition style into an mbr partition style so at this point i will close up the home partition assistant then i will eject the dix Here, I will remove the hard disk drive from this computer and plug into the first computer and restart the Windows installation. Alright guys, so as you can see, if I want to install Windows on this partition, I'm no longer getting that error message that Windows cannot currently be installed on this disk because it's of a GPT partition style. So here, I can now go ahead and uh, continue my Windows installation and later use old window to retrieve back all the files and all the data after the Windows installation. Alright. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial section guys if you enjoy watching this video i would like you to give this video a thumbs up comment in the comment section and if today is your first time or coming across our youtube channel i'd like you to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our future tech support video all right so with that being said see you in the next tutorial bye for now